Let's get into it. Let's go. Let's go. Episode 561 of the Soul Not For Sale podcast. This is Joe Rogan and Hulk Hogan talking about Oliver Anthony. Very surprising episode with Hulk Hogan. I did not expect a conversation with Hulk Hogan to be an hour of him talking about getting saved, being religious, going to church from a guy who had an era of wearing a shirt that said the NWO preaching about the new world order inside wrestling rings. I did not expect this from him. And in a conversation about God, of course, Joe brings up Oliver Anthony. And then they start talking about his song. What a trip it must be for Oliver Anthony to be looking at Hulk Hogan on a screen and Joe Rogan and having them discuss your song. Crazy. Also, what I have is a clip of Oliver Anthony talking about what the song Richmond, North of Richmond actually means, along with kind of discussing the fact that some people are, you know, not even just attacking, but just misinterpreting. But it's just basically him just giving his thoughts on the meaning of the song, which I find very interesting. And then I'll have a clip at the end of Oliver Anthony at a free show, just, uh, just, just speaking about some stuff that's close to his heart. So... Let's get into that. Before I do, of course, you know I have to bring you to the store. I am CoachCollin.com. Get your Soul Not For Sale t-shirts. You can get your Public Enemy Number 1 shirt as well. For those of you that don't know, Google the World Economic Forum. Please get informed on this topic, Agenda 2030. And we also have the Certified Pure Blood shirt. For those of you that survived the pandemic unscathed, untainted, Please stay strong throughout the next 6 to 12 months. We're at it again. And for those of you that know, you know the man himself, the presidential mugshot. Get yours now. We also have hoodies, tank tops, even mugs. I think my wife even put a mug of the mugshot up on there because somebody requested it. So you can get that all on the website, IamCoachCollin.com. And anything that you purchase, please take this 10% off offer. I am Coach Colin. Put that in the discount code area. It gets you 10% off. It's all capital letters. It's all one word. And there's one L in the name Colin, and it gets you 10% off. And if you've already done that with us, thank you so much. You have no idea how much it means to us. Thank you so much for your support. Let's get into the first clip, Oliver Anthony speaking his mind. Let's go. It's just saying that the government takes people who are needy dependent and makes them needy independent. At some point, I will dissect all my lyrics of all my songs, if that's what I need to do. I mean, 30-some million people understood what I was saying, but it only takes a few to try to uh, derail the train, you know, to try to send out false narratives. And I'm sure there'll be more of that to come. It's like, uh, it's driving people crazy to see the unity that's come from this, from all walks. This isn't a Republican and Democrat thing. This isn't even a, a, a United States thing. Like, this has been a global response. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Go on YouTube and watch all the response videos, you know? And don't shoot the messenger. Like, I'm a nobody. It's my belief that divine intervention has put me in this position in this point in time to get a message across, and that's all there is to it. Like, I'm nobody special, you know? I, I, I feel terrible almost that I've been put in this place because there there are a lot of artists and musicians out there that are far more talented that have put in way more hours than me. Like I don't deserve, I, I don't deserve to sit in the top five places on the iTunes charts. And the truth is, I really could give a shit less about the iTunes charts. What I care about is connecting with people. What I care about is, <sighs> man, love it, love the authenticity from this guy. You know, not caring about the iTunes charts. And he's right. There's a lot of artists who do care about that quite a bit. And arguably, you could say they worked harder. But that's not what matters when it comes to music, at least not to me. I don't care if you did your song in a million dollar studio. You know, I like the guy who did it in his backyard with his dog within within eye shot and a microphone that he just, you know, paid for on Amazon. I like that way more, way more. You know, the fact that you could do something amazing with that, that's everything to me. 
I mean, obviously, I'm I'm a guy who's sitting in basically a closet in here. <laughs> it's basically a closet. There's clothes everywhere. But, you know, I, I like when people make it happen with what they have. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to have more with Oliver Anthony in a second. We're moving on to the Joe Rogan clip now where they're talking about basically what they were talking about before the clip starts is they're talking about prayer. Hulk Hogan's ex- instructing Joe on how prayer works, um, speaking as if it's already done, having that faith in the Lord and whatever your religion is, please, you know, accept this as a conversation of faith. You know, I'm not trying to discredit anybody's religion, but just having that faith and how he got saved. And and then they're talking about the law of attraction, like stuff I never thought I'd hear from Hulk Hogan. But this is the clip of them talking about Oliver Anthony. Let's go. Let's get into that. That's true. So many people are not quite honest about it either because it's very painful to fail. And that's why many, many people don't try to. It's, um, I don't know, it's, it's interesting, but it's, it's interesting to me to see a guy like you with a very positive mindset and this new sort of appreciation for your faith and that you're, you're, you're showing great benefits from it. There's times when people, do you know the story of Oliver Anthony? Do you know who Oliver Anthony is? No, I don't. He's this guy who's the number one song in the country and uh, he recorded it in his backyard. In is this Virginia. the red-haired kid we're talking yes. about? Oh, yeah. So this guy gave himself to Christ like 30 days ago. And, wow. and was having all sorts of problems with substance abuse and the normal chaos and hit rock bottom. And, uh, and like, I don't, I, won't, I don't want to speak for him. I don't know what he actually said. But it was something to the tune of, please, God, if you could straighten my life, if you could just straighten my life out, I, w- I will dedicate myself to you. And I'll, I'll be on the right track. And then 30 days later, wow. he, he's clean and he hits with this insane song. Do you know the song? Yeah, yeah. Play that song, Jamie, because this song is insane. And this guy doesn't have a label. He's not attached. He won't sign anything. People are trying to get him to sign things. They're offering him like millions of dollars. And he's like, nah, nope, nope, nope. I'm not signing shit. I'm, I'm going to just captivate people. That's amazing, right? It's amazing. But this is another example of a guy who just like hits rock bottom fully all in. Well, he's, saying, then, he's saying what people think, man. Yeah, he is. Yeah. And then people are freaking out. Like, trying to attack him and trying to figure out what's wrong with him. What's wrong with him? This guy, he's probably got a shady past. Like, right. can't, people just, <laughs> can't people just ever just appreciate someone's thing that they put out there? Can't they just appreciate that? Why don't they just appreciate that? How about not things? judging people? How about well, just from this moment forward, moving forward? Some people should be judged. There's a lot of criminals out there. I'm not saying we shouldn't judge. Uh, I just think we should be more charitable. And when someone just puts out a beautiful song like that, you should go, that's a beautiful song. Just enjoy it. Why right. can't we just enjoy things? <laughs> Why is everybody... Yeah, I'm- you know? True words. Yeah. I mean, uh, if people really lived like Christians, it would be probably a better place for most folks. You know? I agree. When you uh, go to church now, is it chaos? Does everybody try to get selfies? Like, what's that like? No, man. It's, it's really <laughs> cool. Um, I go to Indian Rocks Christian Church with, with Sky. Sky. Sky's my girlfriend. You shouldn't probably tell people where you go to church because they're going to go to church with the Hulk star. No. I, want more, people, I want more people there. All right. But you're going to get it. They're coming. Yeah. Pastor Aaron's my boy, man. He he it's needs nice. to be he needs to be tested. And uh, <laughs> her son goes to one of her sons goes to Indian Rocks Christian, so we go there every Sunday and uh, really look forward to it. You know, it's just uh, kind of like it's something that you don't let go of. A lot of people plug in and plug out, but it, it I don't plug out. Once I'm plugged in, I'm I'm there. You know, because I've seen it change a lot of people. A lot of people. There's also some real power to a bunch of people getting together to agree that they're there to be a better person in the eyes of God. Yeah. There's something there's something very powerful about that. A group of everybody that meets together in the community at a certain time, dresses nice, and just all agrees that we're here to try to be a better person in the yeah. eyes of God. I've seen it change people. The brother that is responsible for this shirt, the John 316 devotional team, Mel Chansey. He was the president of the Chicago Hells Angels. Um, for years, you mm-hmm. got Zito in New York. Yeah, you know, and Mel was the president of the club in Chicago, and you know, knew him very well back in the day. And when I go to Chicago, it would be you know ripping and running. Mm-hmm. And uh, then Mel did about nine years, you know, and a uh, bunch of stuff, Rico stuff, and all kind of craziness. Oh, and actually, when Mel came out, and he tried to get a hold of me. I had second thoughts going, "Whoa, what's up with the brother here?" You know. Right. I haven't seen him for a while, you know. And one of the last times I saw him, you could probably pull it up, is when we were in Knoxville and I had the Hells Angels circling the ring on their Harleys. You know, they said I didn't have any backup, and so I made a phone call because I, I got a bunch of friends back in the day that were in the club, and so they all showed up and 
in Knoxville, and that's the last time I saw Mel before he went away. And uh, and he came out, you know, and um, I, people sent me a couple messages. He was out. I'm going, oh my God, here we go again. Here we go again. And so all of a sudden we hooked up and, and touched base. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah that's oh, the over there the on the shit. left. I think Mel's on the right. I mean, this is peak heel Hogan, bad guy. Oh yeah, we, we were. <laughs> we went from people. the best good guy to the best bad guy. Yeah. Oh, we were talking about that when we were getting coffee. That um, oh, that was your. Wow, I wasn't even supposed to let the clip run that long, but Hulk Hogan has some interesting stories, man. Some interesting, odd stories. But again, Oliver Anthony, what a trip for him to have Hulk Hogan and Joe Rogan talking about his song. Hulk Hogan talking about how he's saying what people are feeling, and he's 100% right about that. And, and check out Hulk Hogan breaking down exactly what Oliver Anthony's doing with his guitar. Like he was really breaking. He knew exactly what he was doing. The reason his voice was so high, everything. Like that's pretty amazing. I had no idea Hulk Hogan knew anything about music. That's not usually. That's not what I think of when I think of Hulk Hogan. And to know that those people who were on motorcycles, I was a kid watching that. Those people were real Hell's Angels. Like what? Trip. Very much a trip of an episode. It just goes from wildness to religion. But uh, Oliver Anthony amazing amazing artist and i'm so glad that i was waiting because i know joe rogan posted him on his instagram and i was like beautiful perfect yeah i want to see him on the podcast but i was like why isn't he talking about him and then dave smith brought him up a bunch on his episode and joe just said oh, it's a great song great song but they didn't talk about him and then this time they actually went in and talked about him i'm very glad for that man oliver anthony deserves it every little bit of notoriety he gets he deserves 100 percent let me know what you guys think. What do you think about that? What do you think about Joe actually bringing it up? And what do you think about Hulk Hogan talking about faith? What do you think about that? I know not everybody's Christian. You know, there's Catholics, there's Islam, there's Judaism. You know, and I know people from all of those religions. I've had clients from all those religions and best friends who are Jewish, you know, good friends that are Muslim. So I respect all religions, but I myself did give myself to Christ and, um, and the day I did was the day I was able to, the next day I was able to not do drugs, which had never happened in like 25 years. And it just kept going and, and I'm good now. It was just, that was it. I just decided. And you know, if it's too preachy for anybody, respect, no problem. But I decided to stop praying to the universe and start or stop meditating to the universe and start praying to the architect and my whole life changed right away i was clean and this happened and it's just incredible so that's not to say you know if you're of a different religion not saying anything about your religion but it, whatever you believe embrace it really embrace it and magical things that happen in your life 100 percent. oliver anthony's an example of that hulk hogan's an example of that i mean you got to listen. I'm going to make more clips on this episode, but you got to listen to it. I mean, he's had trouble with fentanyl, all sorts of things like just such a wild life. And Oliver Anthony is a great example. I'm a great example. You know, if you're thinking about it, any religion, just take a step, take a step. Every step you take, God takes towards you. So just wanted to put that out there. I got another clip, though. Oliver Anthony. Let's play another clip of him. Just uh, opening up at a show. Just uh, opening up with a bit of a with a bit of a passage, you could say. Let's let's bring this out here. Let's go. Let's go, and then we'll end it here. Like if you haven't liked already. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I mean, we're making one to three videos a day. You know, let's get it. The labors at which they toil under the sun. Generations come and generations go, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun sets, and it hurries back to where it rises. The wind blows to the south and turns to the north. Round and round it goes, ever returning to its course. All streams flow into the sea, yet the sea is never full. To the place the streams come from, there they return again. Is there anything of which one can say, look, this is something new? It was here already long ago. It was here before our time. No one remembers the former generations, and even those yet to come will not be remembered by those who follow them. I saw the tears of the oppressed, and they had no comforter. 
power was on the side of the oppressors. And I declared that the dead who had already died are happier than the living who are still alive. But better than both is the one who has never been born, who has not seen the evil that is done under the sun. Do not be quick with your mouth. Do not be hasty in your heart to utter anything before God. God is in heaven and you are on earth, so let your words be few. A dream comes when there are many cares, and many words mark the speech of a fool. Whoever loves money never has enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. This too is meaningless. As goods increase, so do those who consume them, and what benefit are they to the owners except to feast their eyes on them? The sleep of a laborer is sweet, whether they eat little or much, but as for the rich, their abundance permits them no sleep. Everyone comes naked from their mother's womb, and as everyone comes, so they depart. Let's go. Oliver Anthony. Guys, that is it. That's the episode. Comment down below. Like if you haven't liked already. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Some words from Oliver Anthony. Other than that, I'm out.